more colourful superbness thank you very much and welcome to the Sunday shave weekend shave and I hope you've had a great week since I've seen you last on Wednesday you're in good health and uh, all that sort of jazz now new uh, products one I knew about and the other I didn't um, firstly the razor as you've seen in the title this is the Wilkinson Sword Sticky and very kindly sent to me this uh, Stephen Scott thank you very much Stephen very kind of you and he contacted me said I've got two of these and I'd like to send you one um, wouldn't take anything for it or towards it um, so thank you very much it's got a good home I'll look after it and I'll use it um, now the, what's the why is it called <laughs> the Wilkinson Sword Sticky well when this gets wet apparently because I've not used one when this bit gets wet it's supposed to become tacky or better grip so hence the Wilkinson Sword Sticky so we'll see if that's true. Twist to, twist to open the bottom there. And that's it. Isn't good nick this? Very nice. Um, it was designed um, by Sir Kenneth Grange, 1968. He was a in British industrial designer, I think he was. And it became popular. So in the from 68 into the 70s they were made. And um, yeah, it's not it's non-adjustable. Is there an overhang? I don't know. Right, before we go, Stephen also sent these. Thanks very much for this. These were, I didn't know about these coming. Um, some new blades I haven't got, and that's one of them. Prime Platinum blades. Never tried them. Derby Platinum. Never, well, I've tried Derby blades, but not the, not that. Derby Platinum, not the black. Um, and some Rockwell Razor Swedish Stainless Steel Razor Blades. So I'll be trying them and he's um, sent two packs of each. These are just duplicates of them. So thanks again Stephen, very kind of you. And as I say, you'll still see this in the videos now and again. So I'll look after it. Thank you so much. Um, the blade I'm going to use, I'm not going to use them today. I'm going to use what they'd recommend you to use. The Wilkinson Sword Blade. And it's a good blade for me. I'll use these other blades in other razors. Well, I may use it in this in future shaves. So there we go. Brand new. Twist to open. And place it in. And shut the doors. There you go. Ah, slight overhang there, yeah. Yeah, to be aware of. Um, right, so. Thank you to West Coast Shaving yet again. Uh, this package was delayed by... Um, uh, some our fault internal staff because uh, it arrived apparently before Christmas but they didn't know the address wasn't right on it or something um, I'm not sure it was West Coast Shaving's fault I think it, somebody as it came into the country put a sticker on it and it wasn't anyway it got them in the end so thank you so much and that is the stuff Pebr <laughs> shop <laughs> what it is, it's a pear scent fruit. It says here, cooling fruit barbershop scent. So it's pear, and it's a lovely scent of pear. Nice real scent. Sweet. And barbershop scent, sort of mixed together. And it's nice, it's a nice mixture. So, smell that. Now I can't smell, it's got a bit of menthol in this. Hence the cooling and the brrrr bit. <laughs> So uh, I can't smell the menthol, and I don't think it states it on here, oh, unless my eyes are playing up. But there's a, there's a hint of menthol in there, so I've got some in the bowl there. And I'm using their brush, they sent me this a while ago, it's a synthetic. This is the um, West Coast Shaving Beacon Ancient Stone Collection, and this is the turquoise. Um, oh, it says on there somewhere. You have to look very carefully. Their name is there between my fingers, but I don't know if you can tell. It's embossed into the brush, West Coast Shaving. So that's there. So we'll wet the face and get on with it. So the uh, last shave I did, 
Um, well, it wasn't a complete silent shave. I did a... Uh, I think some people were worried. They go, oh, don't make this a regular thing. <laughs> Which is a good thing, actually, because it tells me that people do enjoy the chat. Because I love talking. Can't shut up sometimes. Um, just wet the brush. Should have soaked in that water before I empty the sink. Um, yeah. It likes a wet. It likes water, this soap. So I'm leaving it sort of wet, but it's not dripping. That's off my hand there. So off we go. Yeah, so uh, it just shows you. It was, I think it was, was it 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to shave. Three pass shave. Um, bit of music to it. So, uh, and somebody said, oh, it looked like you were struggling there to. Oh, the scent is beautiful. This is a realistic. Like you cut a pear in half. You know, if you. We used to eat a pear with a knife sometimes when we had a new pen knife. I used to think we were it, taking slices of pear or apple or something. But it's like that, it's the scent when you cut into one. Really nice. As they said, it likes water. So there was a wet brush there. Didn't soak the. Didn't bloom the soap, as it is. Really nice. Smell that, go on. <laughs> right, the righty ho. Here we go. Righty ho, here we go. Mm. Wow, that is nice. It's a clever, clever design, really, this, because. I'm getting the, the pear, but there is a difference as well. So that's the barbershop scent mixed, and it goes well, really nice. Now you can lather this up really creamy. And but that'll do me, I think. Okay. Yeah, so it was a nice test that uh, shave, uh, just for you to know. So it wasn't regular, it wasn't a regular thing because uh, I enjoy jibber jabbering. Wilkinson sword sticky. Not sure what year this one is. I don't think you can tell, but somewhere between 1968 and into the 70s. So here we go. And they were, oh, that's nice. This is roughly the same, uh, for me, aggression as the new Wilkinson Sword Classic, the twist to open. It's slightly more aggressive than the, the older black version. You can hear the feedback. The cutting, wow, that's a lovely scent. Mm. Oh, in case you're wondering, when I get a razor like this or vintage from a, if I buy it in a shop or on eBay or whatever, or sent them, I always wash them. I'm going now with some dishwashing soap, fairy I use, in some hot, not too hot but warm to hot water and a toothbrush and clean it then I rinse it and then um, I usually use a, an antibacterial soap and do the same again and then rinse it again you can use barbicide and people use I'm not keen on using too much chemical stuff but that's just how I do it, it works well for me I'd wanted one of these for a long, long time, and then I forgot about it, as you do with different things happening with razors and accumulation of so many products, and then that was a nice treat to get the, that message. Thank you again, Stephen. Um, that is nice, nice smooth shaver. 
Now, this is the thing, I can feel the menthol. It's not strong, no, it's none of this. It's just there, just slight. you can just know it's there. Beautiful, nice. If, so if you like menthol but you don't like it strong, this would be good, very good. Good slickness, I can feel. So. Back to this beautiful stuff. You having some good shaves, are you? Using stuff you've had Christmas or whatever. As I say, I don't usually ask for stuff Christmas, but I'm really enjoying it this year, because I did. And as always, I'll put links. Always look in the below the video, the description. If you want to know, I list all the products I've used and where I can, I put links to them. So I'll put links to West Coast Shaving. Um, well, I can't put a link to that, but as it was sent, but uh, eBay, I suppose, or something like that. Nice soap. Very sweet. Could almost eat it, I <laughs> think. Very slick, and it's a nice mixture. These the pear is more apparent for me, but there is I can tell it's not just pear. The barbershop scent, and as I said, just that kick of menthol, which I can feel now nicely, gently. Really nice. And I noticed on the the West Coast Shaving website they've um, they've teamed up with Chris from Katie's Bubbles for something for some cream. Interesting fact: I was looking at the say the website. And they started in 2007, West Coast Shaving, in a two-bedroomed condo in uh, in America. There. And uh, started in the bedroom or something, in, or in an office, an upstairs office. And now he's got shops, or shop. It's quite a well-known name now. So it just shows you. Yeah, I can feel the menthol more now. Not strong. Beautiful. Are you up to much this weekend? Are you working, are you? With family? Um, Sunday dinner, well it's going to be different this week. Um, just rinse off. I am having one. There will be lashentos of gravy, but I'm having lamb's liver and onions. Liver and onions. Not everybody's taste, I can understand that, but uh, I love it. So I don't have it often. But, uh, so it's lamb's liver, onions, uh, gravy, um, potatoes, or mashed potatoes, and peas. I know somebody loves peas. Don't you, Bill? <laughs> no, it's nice. And I make enough, you see, so for dinner today. And um, some in the freezer for another meal. Third up, this I can feel it now. Beautiful. Smell that one. Nice, isn't it? There's a bit of soap that's not been there. Uh, where's that go? Keep that. There we go. I've noticed in work, you know, we uh, 
the post since Christmas you think oh it's much quieter well it is quieter but it's uh, still been busy parcel wise so people have been taking um, advantage of sales I suppose or things like that so it's all good for the job but I suppose it'll quieten down now people are back to work and all that type of thing good longevity of the cream lathers up easy um, I can feel the menthol now smell the pear with a sort of barbershop -y background to it for me against the growth Wilkinson sword sticky what do you think of it simple razor nice design works well good audio feedback feels smooth uh, sort of a mid aggression yeah mild to mid aggression more mid and for me personally if you've ever tried the new Wilkinson sword classic razor that's the new twist open um, it's a similar aggression as that not adjustable of course but uh, really nice Be interesting to try a feather in this. Have I? Oh, I thought I caught it. I probably have. It'll show up in a minute. So it's a nice little idea that with a menthol. It's there, but it doesn't blow your head off. This is lovely. Yeah, I thought I had. I thought I had. <laughs> and it's uh, the handle. Now it doesn't feel sticky or tacky to me, so I don't know whether that was just a, a joke or something I was meant to be, but it, this one doesn't. But there's good grip, it's not slippy. Not for me anyway. I find that with razors, if my hands are wet with water, there's no issue with a smooth handle. But once you add, if you touch a bit of soap, that's when it gets slippy then. Um, but I've never had an issue, I always make sure that they're rinsed. So uh, some people use an Allen block rub their fingers on an allen block and then that gives good grip but I think once you know it's there no problem this is nice very close shave actually it's, it's a mild to mid aggression but very close very good at what it does really nice let's try the slickness for the for this Yeah, it's nice slickness. And it's made of duck fat, this. With duck fat. So I might do some roast potatoes with it. <laughs> <laughs> right, you missed this last week. Three, two... No, sorry. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. So we're going to use the old pear brush shop. Right, let's go shaving. Pear scented barber shop. Bit of menthol. And it is nice and cooling. Even more so. This is the fourth application, as you can see. Beautiful. Nice. So here we go. Eyes down for a full house. What's that from? Bingo here. Yeah. Funny thing is, bingo, quite popular isn't it these days I suppose, but uh, my grandmother wasn't a gambling woman, two things she ever did, 
and that was the Grand National. Every year she'd put a bet on. And uh, if we ever went to um, for a day out to uh, to Rill, North Wales, uh, Land did know something like that. She would always go and have a game of bingo on the front. Two little ducks, twenty-two, and all this time, <laughs> and you're sat there with a stick of rock. Then come on. Yeah, I remember. And I always end the day with a treat of uh, fish and chips. Really nice. Really nice. Okay, rinse off. Very nice. Oh, I enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. Nice scent of pear. So there's a there is a couple of nicks here, but nothing. Very nice. So I thought I'd use which is the peach. Pears and peaches and really nice. Oh yeah, good combination. Beautiful, right. And then, aftershave is going to be this thing. Pin, I've bottled this, decanted into this. It's Pinal Clubman Citrus Musk. Lovely scent. They're quite a sweet scent. Here we go. Oh, smell it, smell it. <laughs> I had a, well I'm not going to say who, a family member here, <laughs> and of course he loves anything, oh anything old fashioned and oh that's nice. When I came to this, I said smell that, what does that remind you of? Pledge. Now Pledge is a furniture polish over here. Pledge? I <laughs> said Pledge. <laughs> Citrus Mux Pledge. That's how good he is. <laughs> Furniture polish. Right. And oh, I'm going to put the uh, Active Age uh, Nivea All Day Moisturiser. This Complete Care Number Six. What do you do? Twist. Pump. And twist. Oh, nice, com nice combo. And then we'll go over what we've used now. I'll leave you in peace. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Right. What do you think? Good? Ready to cook dinner? <laughs> um, right. So, Wilkinson Sword Sticky. 1968 up into the 70s um, very nice simple razor There's a good way to it actually uh, to think that's plasticky thing but a uh, good base to it twist to open and we used inside a brand new Wilkinson sword blade as you can see there so again thanks very much Stephen very kind and for the blades I'll use them in future shaves look forward to trying them because I've never had them particular ones um, 
West Coast Shaving Pear Brushop Cooling Fruit Scent Barbershop Scent Very nice, easy to lather uh, a realistic pear scent, really nice sweet scent of a pear mixed as I say with a barbershop, that's in the background for me um, with a hint of menthol after the first pass, ooh, just there and then the second one is just a bit more but it's not overpowering, it's nice and weak if you like it like that it's just there, very nice soap, thanks for sending that um, another one just before we go just. Another one they sent, they sent me two, that one and this one, shaving the Oriental um, Spiced Rosewood scent. I've not tried, ro I, haven't, I haven't got rose, I don't think, rosewood, anyway, woody scent, musky, I love stuff like that. So we'll try that probably on Wednesday, something like that. So thank you West Coast Shaving. Um, I'm sorry for the delay in using that actually, because as I say it was delayed on our side sadly. West Coast Shaving, this is the Beacon Ancient Stone Collection Turquoise Brush, Synthetic Knot, uh, very nice. My own Red Bull, um, well, so we rinsed off with water, then we used the Thayer's Peach Witch Hazel, then we used the Pledge, <laughs> made me laugh that. We used the Pinout Clubman, sorry, light, Pinout Clubman Citrus Musk, very nice, nothing to do with furniture polish, thank you. And Nivea Active Age uh, Day Moisturiser. Lovely, really enjoyed that, nice, uh, ooh, look, look, look. Over the top there. Well, they're not cut, they're just skimming, been skimming with the blade. But um, very happy with that, really nice close shave, smooth. Beautiful. So liver and onions now with lascentos of gravy. Um, have a great weekend, good Sunday and uh, as always some fantastic shaves and I hope you stay in good health and happy as you can, positive, um, up until Wednesday anyway until I see you for the midweek shave. So thanks again for your support, for watching, all your comments, um, means a lot and uh, see you on Wednesday then for the midweek shave. Take care.